<laughs> you welcome back from the breather. You're still watching the AM show here on your Joy News channel. Now, the Chartered Institute of Markets in Ghana was founded in July 1981 with the vision to be the voice of marketing practice in Ghana. Now, the CIMG provides world class training and conducts examinations to develop the skills and competencies of members and general public. Now, I've got some two men in charge and in Studio Lounge and in charge, I've got Kwabana Jakum, who's the executive director of the Chartered, Chartered Institute of Marketing, and Daniel Kasati, who's the national president of the CIMG. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good to have you in studio. Thank you for having us. All right, now let's talk. Can you tell us a bit about the Chartered Institute of Marketing, what do you stand for, and what do you do as a professional body? I guess you, you, did, you did my work a, for a me, bit, Parley, yeah. Because you said, you, you, you spoke on the vision, you yeah. spoke on the mission, uh, basically, our activities as a professional body is to drive membership. That is the core uh, activity that we do at CIMG. We also have a school. We also run a consultancy. And above all, we do events, and events in and around advocacy. So we have the CIMG Awards Night, which is our flagship event. Yeah. We have the President's Ball, for which we are here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have our Evening with Platform, where we celebrate marketing oriented <coughs> companies companies that are imbibing the marketing concept and are saying to themselves the customer is a single most important factor in business so we should recognize as such okay now before we talk about the presidential ball you've been practicing for 30 years certainly yes how has it been the ups the downs how's the how has the journey been ah it's not been easy yesterday i was at a bank and the customer service was poor. Mm -hmm. So you would say there's room for improvement. In the marketing communication circles, when I joined, the kind of, uh, what do you call, visibility material that we used to yeah. use is not what we are using today. Today we are more sophisticated. So by and large, it's, it's a missed bag, mm. kind of. All right, firstly, congratulations on your investiture as the president uh, of the CIMG. Now, how's the feeling like? How has it been so far? Thank you. Um, let me first of all say a very big thank you to the entire multimedia group. You guys have been supportive right from the day of the elections up to the investiture and beyond. Um, um, we, we are very happy about that and um, um, we thank you. Um, the feeling has been some way, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Um, um, I have had the privilege of working on the council for about 16 years, seven under four different presidents, yeah. um, up to the point where I was vice president for four years. So just a habit away from the presidency. Um, um, I have therefore come into this position, having you know, learned very much at the feet of these um, able professionals. And um, I think I have prepared myself good enough to continue where they left off. Okay, <laughs> all right. Now let's talk about the reason why you are here. The presidential ball. What's it about? What do you seek to achieve with this annual event? Can you give us more details about it? So it's one of our events, the second uh, in the league. And what we seek to do is to play around advocacy. So it's a night where the president picks a topical issue. So the president is a host. He's mm -hmm. hosting all of us. He's host hosting corporate Ghana. He's hosting, hosting individual marketeers and, you know, our sister associations. And he's speaking to a topical issue, an emerging theme, mm -hmm. something that you pick and crystal ball gaze and ask yourself, how would it affect the tools of marketing? How would that, how would that affect the seven Ps of marketing, the seven Cs of marketing, the seven E's of marketing? So basically, it's a night not only to talk, but also to network, to meet colleagues, to discuss what would have happened during the year. Mm -hmm. And all aside that, there will be entertainment. You know, we'll play band, we'll dance the night off, we'll drink wine and eat good food for that matter. And also it's a night to also recognize new members and induct them into office. And above all, it's a night to close our schools in terms of our digital marketing school yeah. and our traditional school as well. Okay, now let's talk about the theme. 30 years of celebrating excellent uh, challenges for the next decade. So as I said earlier yeah. on, that we do these awards, uh, this uh, President's Ball by picking a topical issue. And 
until the last five years, what we have done is because we want to hone in on, on any theme that we choose, we decided that this year's theme for the awards, we should pick it back and leverage on it. Okay. So you would recall that in September, the theme that we chose was, you know, 30 years of celebrating marketing excellence, synergies for the future. So we, the STEM still remains, yeah. but we are looking at challenges ahead. And we are crystal ball gazing and asking ourselves, what are the new things that we should look out for? So the choice is based on one, yeah. it's being topical, two, it's being the fact that we want to leverage and pick it back on the September theme that we choose so that we can hone in and make sure that we've executed it to, to the its fullest. All right. Now, can you tell us what we can expect uh, from the, the, the president and what he'll be saying, what he will tell us? Can He's the one who is yeah, speaking. So, 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 so what, what will he tell us? Why don't you come tomorrow? <laughs> but but we, we want a sneak peek, you know, mm -hmm. some, mm -hmm. something to tease mm -hmm. us yes, to right. come, yes, you okay. know. As um, Kabna has said already, the President Board is the last in the series of activities for us, uh, as we have journeyed throughout the year from January to December. What we do, therefore, is to look at the year in retrospect and see what we have done, mm -hmm. and also um, to project into the future um, um, how we are going to run the marketing profession in the coming year. We are going to touch on very thought-provoking topics mm -hmm. that will shape the national discourse, right? Um, if you want me to mention to uh, mention that we want to make a very bold statement on the need for political marketing in Ghana okay. because we've seen the political atmosphere is untidy. Oh. There's no sanity there. And this is because political parties will not employ marketing people to help them market their ideas and their, um, uh, you know, their biggest product beyond political ideology is a candidate mm -hmm. for an election. That candidate does not necessarily require people who speak big English, lawyers and, and the like. Mm. They require people who will understand the needs of the average electorate and to be able to market these candidates strongly, right? Mm -hmm. um, just take what happened in Britain. Boris won his election. Yeah. Three key words. Three key words. Get Brexit done. That's it. He didn't insult anybody. Yes. He didn't mention in anybody's name. He, the closest he came to was to say, the other guy will not do it. Yeah. He didn't mention anybody's name. Get Brexit done was a strong message that catapulted him overnight, yeah. unexpectedly, to where he wanted to get to. And that is where we should be getting to. We want on the night to you know, touch on a very sensitive issue of service quality standards in Ghana, mm. right? Um, Kobna just mentioned that he was at a bank and the service was bad. Yeah. It is so because we don't have service standards. We want to see a situation where, particularly the regulated industries, banking, insurance, and the like, the National Communications Authority has minimum standards and they sanction um, com telecommunications companies that do not meet the minimum standards. Yeah. Why cannot the Bank of Ghana do the same? Why cannot the National Insurance um, Commission, Commission do the same? So we want to put a strong statement out there that we are capable. There are a lot of professionals in the market yeah. who are capable to help these industries set minimum standards to regulate. And then the regulators can now sanction players in those industries that do not meet the requirement. Let me mention here that the Bank of Ghana has done some good work so far. Mm -hmm. It's about establishing the office of the equivalent of the office of the ombudsman, where if you are not satisfied with the services of a bank, they empower you. They say, call this person. If you are not satisfied, talk to the MD of the bank. Mm -hmm. If you are not satisfied, there is, they have informed you that you have the right to uh, employ the services of a lawyer to uh, 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 to, to pursue your course. Your, yeah. Up to the governor, if you are not satisfied, they say, come to us and complain, and we will sanction the bank. Beyond that, we want to see the proper service quality standards set across industry. If 70% is the required minimum, you fall below, you are sanctioned. Now, how soon do you want all of this to be done? Well, once we... Like, just like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like five years ago. <laughs> we, we would love that as soon as we make the statement, mm -hmm. um, um, the required authorities um, will 
It's, it, it, it's not the everyday thing that everybody would know. It requires professional competences. Yeah. Academia and the field of professionalism is full of, you know, a lot of research in these areas. We don't need to have those institutions within, let's say, Bank of Ghana or National Insurance Commission. Mm. They can employ the services of outhouse research agencies to do this for them. Mm. So it is something we can do right from the first working day of January. Okay. Now let's talk about the presidential ball. Let's bring it back. Who can attend? Can anybody attend? Yes, indeed. It's more of a high LSM, more of a B2B uh, kind of uh, night. But we wouldn't stop you know, what do you call it, individuals also attended. Because yeah. normally corporate organizations will buy corporate tables, okay. use that to fit their, their internal marketeers, mm -hmm. their external marketeers, and if you like, all, <coughs> all other stakeholders. Yeah. Uh, so it's more of a B2B type. But we don't stop in the individual who wish to attend, can call us and we'll see what we can do for him. Okay, see what you can do for them. Will they pay anything at the uh, gate? Yeah, certainly they, they should, but not at the gate. They should okay. call before coming. Call because before coming. Because I don't think there will be any tickets for them at the gate. Okay, all right. So you call before coming. Before coming. Do, can you mention the numbers to us? 244 58 Okay. 0208177752. All right. So the... Event is happening December 21st. Certainly. Yeah. Tomorrow, Tomorrow Saturday. what time? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Okay. And then if you want to attend, they can give you a call on certainly. the number you just certainly. mentioned. Certainly. Your last message to the listeners. Well, it's pretty um, straightforward. Um, Ghana has come far. Yeah. We want, you know, people to take advantage of the clarion call by His Excellency the President about this. Um, uh, uh, Ghana Beyond Aid Agenda. Mm. Everybody can make a contribution. Um, it is good that people have started championing the cause of buying, uh, buying and eating uh, Ghana rice. Mm. Beyond the rice, there's a lot of things that each of us can do. For instance, I have taken it upon myself the last 10 years, the only soap I use, and I mean bathing soap, is Alata Samina. Yeah. For the past five years, I use shea butter. And you can see her seated here. We are African. Yeah. We are Ghanaian. We are African. If everybody can, you know, change their taste and the attitudes towards, I mean, in favor of African and Ghanaian products, we will be making um, a very good step mm. towards achieving Ghana beyond aid. Okay. Mr. Jakum, any mm. last words? For me, I'm looking forward to uh, we changing our attitudes and mentality as Ghanaians, especially internal marketing. Mm. In as much as we would want to give quality service to the external uh, customer, being the uh, you know consumers that we know out there, we should also treat the internal customer well, because mm. they can't give what they don't have. Yeah. And if we do that, I guess Ghana will go places. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, gentlemen. That was uh, Mr. Kwabena Ejakum, who is the executive director with the CIMG and Mr. Daniel Kasiti, who is the national president of the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana. Thank you so much. We're talking about the presidential ball. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be certainly, fun. Certainly. And they can call you tomorrow. And you are invited. We hope to see you. Oh, I I'll be there. And I'll be I'll doing a dance with you. Oh, definitely. A ballroom dancing. Oh. No, she will be dancing with the president. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, so, unfortunately. This is, this is bullying. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, gentlemen. Uh, we're thank going to you. take a quick breather. And Becky is standing by for showbiz.